Welcome everyone to Teal Art Gallery right here on Breckenridge's Main Street. I'm here with Stephanie, the owner, and uh, this place is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I got, you know, you've been here for a few years now, and what was the inspiration behind the whole Teal Art Gallery in, in coming into Summit County? Basically, there, there are some ways to express yourself in your home, um, and I don't really always feel like that happens through traditional means of art. Mm -hmm. And then when you have more contemporary things that, you know, people that might have made that are living in your same time that feel the same things you do, the art they make might actually more accurately express mm -hmm. what, you know, maybe it was something you want in your home. And that's sort of, I guess the premise is to have something different up here, something modern, mm -hmm. something a bit more close to what people feel. So the items that you have in your gallery you would consider to be contemporary? Oh yes. Yes? Okay. Let's talk a little bit about um, your background and how you acquire all of the different artwork that's in the space. Um, well I actually studied art in England. Mm -hmm. I went to school there for several years and then I traveled around the world and I've studied art since. I also studied art in university. Um, so as an artist myself. Mm -hmm. And what's your preferred medium? I, do, I don't know, I kind of go around, I guess oil and ceramics. Uh -huh. So between the two there. Sure. Um, and then the artists I find, um, some of them are local, some of them are from Paris and I don't know, Argentina. Mm -hmm. And it's really about if they have something new to offer. Um, so something new to offer to people, their, their medium, their, um, I don't know, just their content, mm -hmm. I suppose. So you're looking with your own eye and then what you think that residents here or tourists, visitors alike would you know, like to see in their home, per Possibly. se? Possibly. I, I, I guess I take it a step beyond that because I think that, they, that other people might not originally have liked something. Sure, be sure. like They might see it at first and be like, oh, I don't know about that. But they come but back and it grows on be like, them. It'll and, grow, yeah. or maybe if I can tell them the story behind mm -hmm. it, then it really creates a connection. Well, what do you say we take a little bit of tour of the gallery and you can show us some of those inspiring pieces? Okay. So Stephanie, who are we looking at here? This is one of my permanent artists here at um, Teal. He is a photographer and does primarily film photography and specializes in bringing old film techniques to modern art. So what he does is manipulates the negative itself with heat um, and um, like fingerprints, you put it all over. And then when he develops the film, it comes out all warped, different colors and textures. And what are the subjects that he likes to use? He likes to use dead plants <laughs> primarily, or dead um, bugs sometimes mm -hmm. also, which I love. Mm -hmm. He gets something that's both archaic, so both the film, but also the subject itself, something that's way out of date, no one pays any attention to anymore, and brings it, makes it rele relevant again, brings it back to the future. But, uh, so what he does is he puts it right in the middle compositionally. It's a very unusual because it's right in the middle of the film. And where's he from? He's from Paris. So what's next? So over here is Zingaro. He's a, a permanent artist also here at Teal Art Gallery. And what he does is an ancient art form, again, bringing that to the modern, um, but it's called vitreous glass, which is right next door to enamel. But what he does is he actually gets ground glass that's colored, colored glass, and then paints it on to sheet metal. So mm -hmm. this is painted onto brass and um, copper, painted on, and then fired multiple, multiple times to really get the depth and mm -hmm. the texture, the it, light. The color splashes on it are absolutely beautiful. Just, <laughs> okay, uh, so what he does, and he uses nature as one of his main things, which again is a, a, sort of a diptych between nature and then just the glass, mm -hmm. metal, like stationary um, part about it. It is very beautiful. <laughs> it's uh, very well designed. Um, he really gets, the two types of colors together. What he'll really do is he uses the natural metal color and then the, the fake um, glass colors. So Stephanie, what do we have here? It's, this? Really, it's really cool. <laughs> Thank you, yes. <laughs> this is Rebecca Cumming, one of, again, a permanent artist here at Teal. She understands paint. 
I know that you should always understand paint if you're I an don't, artist. I don't. I don't. Well, <laughs> just, just, you, you should be able to, you know, paint with it. But mm -hmm. she actually uses the paint itself to tell the story. It's not about what it looks like. So I, there's, I can't, this isn't like a children's playground or anything like that. I shouldn't be able to see anything. It's no. more of the textures and how she's applying it to the canvas right. and everything. And is this her work as well? This is indeed. Um, it's... There's just a huge amount of layering that goes on. Mm -hmm. Every piece really tells a story. And at first, as with a lot of abstract art, you're like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't want to look at it anymore. But with Rebecca's art, you can really, if you just take a minute, mm -hmm. you really feel a connection. Mm -hmm. And you to st her it starts artwork. to grow on you. A lot it of really the pieces does. here at the Teal Art Gallery start to grow on you. And I did notice as you were giving us this tour that the pricing here isn't ridiculous like a lot of galleries. So well, I, I think uh, yeah. the shoppers would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> so the next time you're in Brackenridge or if you want to check out the website and find out what the Teal Art Gallery has to offer you and your home, do so or give uh, you guys a call. Thanks so much. Thank you.